Hey there, this is Bajdar from Muthik. Today I want to show you how to lock the cork lock or lock the voltage or both actually. So something like that, something similar to that. As you can see, the cork lock is locked and it's giving a straight line. Today I'm going to show you how to do it yeah really easy so first things first well let's uh, let me make this the like the default one okay uh, in the beginning it was maybe something like that yeah similar to that it was something similar to that <laughs> and yeah when you run MSI afterburner okay first of all uh, I expect you have MSI afterburner you know some basics about it maybe even if you don't know basic stuff about that you should have MSI afterburner that's what I expect uh, okay maybe you have a different interface that's okay but you should know something about MSI afterburner okay first things first uh, what you should do if you have the same uh, interface as mine you should enter the curve uh, click the curve editor or maybe if you have a different interface you have this tree like this symbol this this thing so if you find this you click it and if you see something like that then yeah you are good to go if you don't and if you cannot find it okay well don't worry hold down control then press F it will open it for you yeah same uh, okay now what we what you want to do is click one of the nodes one of the nodes then hold down shift okay then hold down click left click so you can you can see now we can play with this I want you to lower it down a little bit to maybe here which is 1000 over there okay and release the shift button now click the end point this one the end node or the end point whatever now hold down control then hold down click and yeah as you can see you can play with the end point what we want is to lower it down to maybe same as the beginning point around around here now it's okay what you should do is apply as you can see it is giving us yeah almost almost a straight line right so uh, what I want you to do in my case I'm gonna lower it down a little bit lower down the the whole curve a little bit so maybe this much then maybe I do it like that yeah so as you can see it's uh, a little bit more straight well what I want to do now is actually to go to the this is the voltage okay this is the 725 millivolts here click the node that is uh, like just in the same straight line okay in the same line so in this case this 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 one I suggest you use between 700 and 750 this should be the number okay then uh, and excuse the nose in the background uh, well then I would do so in this case you, you should know the number it's up to you maybe I want to go as high as 14 50 maybe so what what that means and then when what you do is click the apply button and now it's applied I'm good with this number sometimes I change it so you you may also change it uh, and what it does is no matter what we do the core clock stays at this point 
it may go a little bit down but it's not going as high as 1455 it shouldn't so it, if it goes then we've done the what we had to do that was one way another thing is sometimes you hear locking the voltage right so if you do lock the voltage i would say you wouldn't need that you wouldn't need to to make the curve a straight line i'll say that because you are actually locking the voltage and the core clock at the same time so uh, it's mostly when you use a number here you want to have like a number of your own uh, okay now let's do the voltage the voltage thing let me make this like the default one yeah it was like that something like that right so the curve was like that here is maybe you want negative okay let me do negative 250 okay maybe you wanted this you want the core clock to be this number but you still want to lock the voltage and the GPU core clock somehow it, they say yeah it is it's actually locking both so you click one of the nodes between 700 and 750 for mining I suggest that uh, and that's what I have actually seen the most uh, so between these click one of the nodes out click 700 then press L L when you press L you should see a like a yellow vertical okay a yellow line vertically so when you see that then you know that you have pressed L then you will go and apply it when you apply it it automatically locks the voltage and the core clock I would say yeah core clock as well but doesn't matter because you can manually give the core clock numbers so the voltage is locked and and yeah that's basically that's basically it and and that's it for today if you have any question uh, regarding overclocking or mining maybe yeah any suggestion uh, what you want to see next time uh, please let me know down in the comments and please subscribe to my channel that would help me a lot uh, and and yeah uh, that was it uh, until next time stay safe